Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel that provides education about many things and provides new inspiration in all of our lives. Before entering the topic, how are you all? I hope your situation is fine, don't forget to be happy. In this video we will discuss things that can make us live longer. Previously, we couldn't extend our age without permission from the Creator, God, who created us. But we can minimize the risk, diseases that arise as a result of our previous habits, so that we can live healthier and enjoy our old age. The first habit we need to pay attention to is. Pay attention to your food. Do you like to eat veggies and fruit? If the answer is yes, you are eating in a good way. Carbs, protein, fat, minerals, and vitamins are all parts of healthy food. Folic acid is a type of vitamin B complex that can help avoid birth defects in babies, most of which happen in the brain or spine. Women who are planning to become pregnant should eat foods that contain this vitamin. Your weight can stay at a healthy level if you eat a balanced, sensible diet. Heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and obstructive sleep apnea are just some of the illnesses that can be caused by being overweight or obese. Does anyone know what obstructive sleep apnea is? To refresh your memory, this condition is caused by fat accumulation in the respiratory tract, which blocks the breathing stages and causes breathing to stop for short periods of time over and over again. This can lead to hypoxia, a condition where the body's cells and tissues don't get enough oxygen, and apnea, condition where breathing stops for 10 seconds or more on average and with a lot of force. Other diseases that can arise due to food are several cancers, for example cancer of the uterus, cervix, endometrium, ovaries, breasts, colon, rectum, esophagus, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, kidney and prostate cancer. This is because special cells that are active against cancer are inhibited by the presence of fat, causing cancer cells to grow freely and quickly. Let's discuss some of the things in the picture. In the previous discussion, there was an explanation that included a photo of nuts as a healthy food. Here is an additional explanation, nuts are an additional food which is one of the best sources, because they contain fiber, antioxidants, vitamins and minerals, healthy fats, and protein. Therefore, it can help us to achieve ideal body weight and reduce the risk of heart disease. There are many types of nuts, there are almonds, walnuts, cashews, pistachios, pecans, macadamia nuts, hazelnuts, brazil nuts and peanuts. This last type of nut, we often encounter in the market near our house. The turmeric plant is good for us too, and not just nuts. It has been used for thousands of years to add color, flavor, and nutrition to food, especially in Asia. It has also been used in traditional medicines, but we don't know what it contains yet. The active ingredient in turmeric is a natural substance called cucurmin, which is a polyphenol. Cucurmin is an antioxidant that helps keep the immune system in check and reduces inflammation. Besides that, different research projects have shown that turmeric may be able to help with chronic kidney disease, cognitive decline irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, macular degeneration, and even some types of cancer by slowing them down. Don't be afraid about the effects if we consume turmeric, because turmeric has a profile that is safe for use in food applications and the pharmaceutical industry. Apart from food factors, let's enter other influencing habit factors. The second habit that can prolong our lifespan is keeping physically active. Do you like to work out? People who like to keep quiet are more likely to get sick than people who like to physical exercise. The following are some health benefits of going around a lot. 1. You can keep your weight in check by burning calories. This will keep you from gaining or losing too much weight. 2. Working out can lower your chance of heart disease, stroke, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, and some types of cancer by making your blood flow and cholesterol goes up. Working out regularly can also make our bones and muscles stronger because it encourages bone cells to make more bone tissue and raises bone mass, especially if we work out in the sun. Most of the time, strength training and exercises that use weights are the best ways to build strong bones. What's it? 
Weight-bearing exercise includes things like walking, running, dancing, and tennis that make bones and muscles work against gravity. When you do these things, the pressure on your bones will make bone-forming cells make more bone tissue. This will make your bones stronger and denser. Working out your muscles and bones with force or outside pressure is called resistance training. Some examples of resistance training are lifting weights, using rubber bands, and doing push-ups. By putting stress on the bones. These movements can help build bone mass and improve bone health. So, when is the best time for us to exercise? Some studies suggest that exercising in the morning may have some benefits over other times of the day, especially for weight loss and heart health. Here are a few possible perks of working out in the morning. Working out in the morning can help you lose more weight and calories during the day. Obesity released a study that found people who did moderate to vigorous physical activity, MVPA, in the morning had a lower body mass index, BMI, and waist circumference than people who worked out in the afternoon. A new study in the European Journal of Preventative Cardiology says that the best time to be workout physical exercise is from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. This will help you avoid heart disease and stroke. More than 2,000 people who wore exercise trackers for seven days and had their blood pressure checked at regular intervals were used in the study. The researchers think that this might be because of the circadian rhythm, which has its highest point in the morning and its lowest point during the day. So, work out in the morning to keep your heart and blood pressure healthy. Researchers also discovered that people who worked out in the morning ate better and consumed fewer calories compared to their body weight. A morning workout can make you feel better and give you more energy. When you work out in the morning, your body creates endorphins, which are feel-good chemicals that can make you feel better and lower your stress levels, because exercise increases blood flow and oxygen to the brain, doing it in the morning can also make you more awake and clear-headed. This can help you do better at school or work and deal with the problems of today. Apart from exercise time, what we need to pay attention to is how our own condition is before exercising, based on age, here are the recommended recommendations. Before school, kids in preschool, ages 3 to 5, need to be active every day, all day long. As a form of active play, they can do fun physical tasks like running, jumping, climbing, throwing, catching, and dancing. This moving your body, coordinating your brain with other parts of your body, and building your confidence are all important parts of how you grow and develop. Young people, 6 to 17 years old, need to be physically active for at least an hour every day at a moderate to high effort. They can pick from many fun sports and activities, like brisk walks, cycling, swimming, soccer, basketball, and martial arts. At least three times a week, they must do vigorous activity, muscle strengthening activities, and bone strengthening activities within an hour of exercising. This is to improve their cardiovascular fitness, muscle strength, bone health, and mental health, even if they are just bored with schoolwork. Adults, 18 to 64 years old, need exercise for more than 150 minutes a week. The activity can be brisk walking. Also, at least twice a week, they should do things that make their muscles stronger. You can do things like lift weights, use resistance bands, or do workouts with your own body weight, like push-ups, squats, and planks. These activities might help them keep off or lose weight, lower their chance of getting chronic diseases, make it easier for them to do things, and overall make their quality of life better. People aged 65 and up get same treatment with adults. However, add things like some other things, they should do or stand on one leg, do Tai Chi, or do yoga to improve their balance. They can stop or put off the loss of muscle mass, bone structure, and balance that comes with getting older by doing these things. A fall, a broken bone, or being unable to work can also be avoided. Besides being good for your body, Tai Chi or yoga can also help you find peace of mind, especially if your partner has died. We can become thirsty when we work out. The American College of Sports Medicine, ACSM, 
says that you should drink 16 to 20 ounces of fluid at least 4 hours before you work out and 8 to 12 ounces of fluid 10 to 15 minutes before you work out. You should drink enough water to make up for the sweat you lose while you work out exercise. ACSM says that while you work out, you should drink 3 to 8 ounces of water every 15 to 20 minutes. You should drink enough water to make up for the fluids you lost after working out exercise. ACSM says that within 2 hours of working out, you should drink 16 to 24 ounces of fluid for every pound of body weight loss. You can also figure out how much water you need by weighing yourself before and after working out. For every pound of weight you lose while working out, you should drink 15 to 24 ounces of water to make up for it. So, you already know, morning exercise can also result in better dietary choices and calorie control throughout the day, improve heart health, strengthen muscles and bones, and can improve your mood and appear energetic all day. Let's discuss other factors, stay tuned. The third habit that can affect our longevity is smoking. Smoking is a dangerous habit that can have serious consequences for your health. Smoking can affect almost every organ in your body and cause many diseases, such as cancer, heart disease, stroke, lung disease, diabetes, and more. Here are some facts about smoking and health that I found. In the United States, smoking is the main reason people die that could have been avoided. Every year, this disease kills more than 480,000 people, which is almost one in five deaths. If you smoke, you kill more people than HIV, illegal drugs, drinking, car accidents, and gun-related events. Blood valves get damaged and narrow when you smoke, which raises your blood pressure and heart rate. This could lead to heart disease, stroke, or blood clots. It can also cut off blood to the heart and other organs, which can lead to chest pain, heart attacks, and heart failure, which can be fatal. It's harder to breathe when you smoke because it hurts your lungs and respiratory systems. Chronic obstructive lung disease, COPD, which includes emphysema and chronic bronchitis, is brought on by smoking. Lung cancer is the most common type of cancer in the U.S. and is also caused by smoking. You are also more likely to get cancer of the mouth, throat, esophagus, bladder, kidneys, liver, and cervix if you smoke. If you smoke, your immune system is weakened and you are more likely to get sick. Smoking can make you more likely to get COVID-19, TB, pneumonia, and the flu. Another risk is that you might get rheumatoid arthritis, which is a long-term disease that makes your joints swell and hurt. If you smoke, it can affect your ability to have children. Men who smoke may have less and lower quality sperm and may also have more problems with getting and keeping an erection. Women who smoke can also hurt their egg cells and ovaries, which raises the chance of infertility, miscarriage, early birth, low birth weight, and birth defects. Smoking can also hurt the placenta, which gives air and food to the baby inside the womb. Not only does smoking hurt the inside of our bodies, it can also hurt the outside. Bones, joints, skin, teeth, and eyes can all be hurt by smoking. Smoking can make bones weaker and raise the risk of osteoporosis, a disease that makes bones weak and easy to break. Also, smoking can weaken and weaken your muscles, making you more likely to get hurt or fall. Skin that is damaged by smoking can age more quickly and get lines, sagging, and changes in color. It can also stain your teeth and gums, give you bad smell, lead to tooth decay, gum disease, and even oral cancer. Last but not least, smoking can hurt your eyes and make you more likely to get cataracts, glaucoma, macular degeneration, and even go blind. Smoking causes health problems that hurt your physical, mental, and emotional health in the long run. These problems will affect things that make you live longer. Giving up smoking can lower your chance of diseases linked to smoking and make your life better. If you find it hard to quit smoking on your own, talk to a friend or family member, or call a health center in your city for help with your smoking problem. Apart from not smoking, you can also avoid other habits. 
namely drinking alcoholic drinks, avoiding drinks that contain alcohol is the fourth habit you can do. Drinking alcohol can have many negative impacts on your health, both in the short and long term. Here are some of the dangers of drinking alcoholic beverages based on the search results I found. Alcohol is bad for the heart and blood vessels and can lead to issues like high blood pressure, an irregular beating, stroke, and heart disease. Also, alcohol can cut off oxygen to the heart and other systems, which can lead to chest pain, heart attacks, and heart failure. Alcohol can hurt the pancreas and liver by causing swelling, damage, and problems with how they work. Fatty liver, drunken hepatitis, fibrosis, and cirrhosis can all be caused by alcohol. These conditions can make it harder to digest food, burn fat, and get rid of waste. Pancreatitis can also be caused by alcohol. This can be very painful and make it hard to make enzymes and hormones that help digestion. Drinking alcohol can make you more likely to get many types of cancer, especially those that affect the mouth, throat, esophagus, larynx, liver, breast, and stomach. Cells and DNA in these organs can be hurt by alcohol, which makes them more likely to get mutations and cancer. Also, alcohol can make the affects of other carcinogens, like tobacco, stronger. Drinking alcohol can hurt your reproductive system and make you less fertile, which can lower your chances of having a healthy pregnancy and kid. Drinking alcohol can lower the number and quality of sperm in men and raise the risk of impotence and problems getting an erection, and for women, alcohol can hurt egg cells and ovaries, which can raise the risk of infertility, miscarriage, early birth, low birth weight, and birth problems. Alcohol can also hurt the placenta, which feeds and oxygenates the baby. Your bones, joints, skin, teeth, and eyes can all get weaker from drinking. This can make you look older and feel weaker. Osteoporosis is a disease that makes bones weak and easily broken. Drinking alcohol can make you more likely to get it. Also, drinking can weaken and shorten your muscles and make you more likely to get hurt or fall. Drinking alcohol can hurt your face and make it wrinkle, sag, and change color. It can also stain teeth and gums, give you bad smell, lead to tooth decay, gum disease, and even oral cancer. Alcohol can also harm the eyes and increase the risk of cataracts, glaucoma, macular degeneration, and blindness. It turns out that drinking alcoholic beverages, especially if consumed excessively, can cause addiction and health problems, thus having a negative impact on your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Stopping drinking alcoholic beverages can reduce the risk of disease and improve your quality of life. If you find it difficult to stop consuming alcohol on your own, try contacting someone close to you, or you can contact a health institution in your city for behavioral therapy to overcome alcohol addiction. Apart from eating and drinking habits, we also have to get used to our way of thinking, how do we do that? We can train our minds by thinking positively, not disturbing and harming other people, and most importantly, how we can still train our minds to stay strong and happy. Let's discuss them one by one. Several studies show that happiness can come from having good feelings and thoughts or from being in a state of well-being. Happiness can also be good for your health. For example, it can lift your mood, lower your stress, anxiety, and sadness, and make your brain work better and help you remember things. Being happy can also help you sleep better and for longer periods of time, which can affect your health and energy levels. However, happiness doesn't always make you live longer, some studies have found no straight link between happiness and death. One example is a study in The Lancet. The study looked at information from almost 600,000 people who drank at least some alcohol. The study found that happiness had nothing to do with mortality, meaning happiness did not protect people from the harmful effects of drinking. Another study, the UK Million Women study, found that happiness had no effect on death rates after taking into account things like age, gender, income, sadness, and health of the people who responded. Based on these studies, being happy might not be enough to make you live longer.
One study shows that apart from trying to always think positively and being able to control our emotions well, an optimistic attitude is more likely to have a significant effect. People who are positive usually feel happy because they think good things will happen. If there is a problem, they try to find a solution so that most people can handle problems well. A lot of research has shown that being positive can be very good for your health. For example, it can lower your risk of heart disease, stroke, and problems with your lungs. Being positive can also boost your immune system, keep your heart healthy, and ease pain. Besides that, being positive can even make you live longer. For example, there was a study in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences that found people who were more optimistic lived longer and had a better chance of making it past age 85. Another study in The Lancet found that people who were more positive were less likely to die from heart disease and other reasons. So, with our optimistic attitude, we can reduce the risk of stress and anxiety to maintain the health of our minds and hearts. Do not forget. After we can control what happens to us psychologically, we also have to protect our psychology from other people, how? By establishing our relationships with other people, in a healthy social environment. Having a healthy social circle can be beneficial for extending your lifespan, as research shows that social connectedness can lead to a longer life, better health, and increased well-being. Social connectedness is the degree to which people have and experience the desired number, quality, and variety of relationships that create a sense of belonging and of being cared for, valued, and supported. The following are the benefits obtained from being in a healthy social environment, so that you can increase your lifespan. By making blood flow, cholesterol levels, and the immune system better, it can lower the chance of heart disease, stroke, and other long-term illnesses. By stimulating your brain and releasing good hormones, can improve your mood, lower stress, anxiety, and sadness, and make you smarter and better at remembering things. Can help people do good things like quit smoking, eat better, and exercise by giving them support, motivation, and accountability. It can make you stronger and help you deal with problems better by giving you mental, practical, and informational support when things get tough. It can make your life better and make you happier by giving you chances to have fun, find meaning, and do things that matter. For those of you who want to have a healthy social circle, you can try the following tips. Get out there and talk to people who share your beliefs, interests, and goals. Any online community, club, or group that fits your goals, interests, or hobbies is open to you. Let people who are different from you in and be friendly with them. Talking to people from different countries, backgrounds, and points of view can help you make new friends. Their thoughts, experiences, and stories can teach you things. Be regular and dependable with the people you care about. Staying in touch, showing interest, and giving help can help you keep and grow your social circle. You can also thank your friends, family, and co-workers and let them know you appreciate them. Be polite and honest with everyone you meet. Being truthful, polite, and helpful will help you make and keep friends. You can also stay away from things like rumors, abuse, and fights that hurt your relationships with other people, especially your friends. Being yourself and having fun with your friends is important. Being yourself, talking about how you feel, and having fun can help you enjoy and celebrate your group of friends. It's also possible to plan and do things that make you happy, laugh, and feel good. By building relationships with lots of people, we can reduce the risk of loneliness, which causes health problems, including sudden weight changes, digestive disorders, heart problems. Another research study found that lonely people have high blood pressure, weakened immune systems, and a 20% decline in cognitive function in people who are in a lonely situation, moreover. Experts from the United Nations World Health Organization, WHO stated that loneliness has an impact deaths equivalent to smoking 15 cigarettes every day. A bit scary isn't it? We will move to the next topic. Have you ever seen someone who was very careful? Some people think that careful people are weird because they seem like they never make a mistake. 
It turns out that being mindful is strongly linked to doing well in school and at work, having good relationships, living a long time, and getting older in a healthy way. Being responsible makes people happier on the inside as they go through life. Being careful means that a person can use self-discipline and self-control to go after their goals and eventually reach them. Very conscientious people are also organized, determined, and able to put off short-term pleasures that aren't their main wants. This helps them live a better life. Conscientiousness is one of the big five personality traits that describe people and keep their feelings in check. A meta-analysis study found that people with low conscientiousness scores had a 1.4 times higher chance of death than people with high scores. This was true even when health behavior, marital status, and education level were taken into account. Besides that, it was interesting to learn that women were less likely to die when they knew about safety measures, but not men. The researchers suggest that this may be due to gender differences in the expression and consequences of mindfulness. So, after knowing this, do you want to be more careful and more disciplined? Let's change and try to achieve our dreams for a better future life. Let's go into the discussion of the last chapter. Remember to get enough good rest. As everyone has a different sleep schedule. Some people got better in just a few hours, while others need more than five hours. In general, the sleep pattern has two main stages, rapid eye movement, REM, sleep and non-REM sleep. Here are the stages of non-REM sleep. Early phase. In this stage of sleep, you may still be aware of what's going on around you. The brain will make beta waves in the first step. Slower alpha waves from someone who is calm with their eyes closed will take the place of the fast beta waves as you continue to fall asleep. Soon, slower theta waves show up, and your eye movements slow down. This stage only lasts a few minutes and gets you ready for a deeper sleep. Phase 2. The longest part of sleep is this phase, which is where you spend about half of your time asleep. Sleep spindles are short bursts of action in your brain. These activity spikes happen 8 to 14 times per second and have an amplitude of 50 to 100 V. Most sleep spindles only last 1 to 2 seconds. They are made when neurons in the thalamus and cortex talk to each other. As a result, your body temperature and heart rate go down. This stage helps you remember things better and learn faster. Third phase. The third stage this is the deepest stage of sleep, and outside triggers are less likely to wake you up. Delta waves are made in your brain, and your muscles loosen up. This stage helps you get your energy back, makes your defense system stronger, and helps you grow and develop. For adults, it lasts about 35 to 40 minutes during the first sleep cycle of the night. For young adults, it makes up 15 to 20 percent of their total sleep time. Some actions of the arms, legs, and body can still be done because the muscles are still in good shape. This is also the stage of sleep when somnambulism, sleepwalking, and night terrors may happen to kids. Now let's discuss the stages of REM sleep. REM sleep has no phases. When you are in REM sleep, you have very clear dreams. Your brain is very busy and sending out waves that are fast and wonky. Your heart rate and breathing speed up, and your eyes move quickly in different directions. To stop you from making your dreams come true, your body suddenly stops moving. This stage helps you deal with your feelings, sparks your imagination, and keeps your mood stable. REM sleep lasts 10 to 25 minutes each cycle, which is 20 to 25% of an adult's total sleep time. REM sleep does, however, come with some risks. For example, it raises the chance of Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. If you want to improve the quality of your REM sleep, you can try the following tips. To start, make sure you get enough sleep every night. Every day at the same time, go to bed and wake up. This will help your body and mind get ready for sleep and release the right hormones. This can also help you stay in sync with your normal sleep cycle. Second tip. Don't drink, smoke, or use coffee after 4 p.m. These drugs can make it hard to sleep and shorten your REM sleep. 
as stimulants, caffeine and nicotine can keep you awake and aware. On the other hand, alcohol can mess up your sleep patterns and make you wake up more often at night. Third tip. Stay properly hydrated all day. If you drink enough water, your body will work better and you won't get dehydrated, which can make it hard to sleep. But don't drink too much water before bed, it could wake you up to go to the bathroom, which would wake you up. Fourth. Stay away from blue light at night. Electronic gadgets like phones, tablets, computers, and TVs give off blue light. This may stop your body from making melatonin, a hormone that controls when you sleep and wake up. Blue light at night can make it harder to fall asleep and lessen the amount of REM sleep you get. You can wear glasses that block blue light, set your devices to night mode, or just don't use them for at least an hour before bed. Fifth tip. Take it easy before bed. Reading, listening to soothing music, meditating, or taking a warm bath are all things that can help you relax and clear your thoughts. Getting rid of worry and anxiety can help you sleep better, especially during REM sleep. To calm your mind and body, you can also do progressive muscle relaxation, mindfulness methods, or breathing exercises. Last tip. Work out daily. Being active can help your health, your happiness, and the quality of your sleep. It can also help you get more REM sleep by making you less stressed and more eager to sleep. But don't work out too close to bedtime because it can keep you too awake and eager to sleep. In the morning or evening is best for getting at least 20 to 30 minutes of mild exercise every day. The explanation above seems a bit much, let's summarize it. Your sleep patterns can vary depending on many factors, such as age, lifestyle and health conditions. Some people may have more or fewer sleep cycles, or longer or shorter sleep stages, than others. Having a regular and healthy sleep pattern is important for your physical and mental health. Sleep can regenerate damaged cells in our body. Apart from damaged cells, the metabolic rate in the skin is also accelerated and can reduce protein damage. This is why getting enough sleep at night, around more 8 hours, can beautify the skin. So, for women who want naturally beautiful skin without artificial ingredients and preservatives, don't stay up late every night. I hope this information helps you understand what habits can prolong our life, let's summarize them briefly. Habits that can help us to live a long life are eating healthy and nutritious food, staying active, exercising regularly especially in the morning, staying hydrated during exercise to replace lost body fluids because most of which are excreted in the form of sweat, avoiding habit of smoking and drinking alcohol, habitually thinking positively or optimistically, maintaining emotions, and don't forget to be happy, have a healthy social socialization environment. Have a high level of caution and discipline, quality rest time. Ultimately, the best way to live a long and happy life is to find a balance between happiness and other aspects of your life, such as relationships with other people, work, hobbies, and your health, which are largely influenced by the food and drink we consume. These are the habits that can prolong our lifespan that I can convey to you this time. I ask permission to promote my other videos, please pay attention to them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like and subscribe buttons below. Thank you for watching. I'll excuse myself, see you again.